Okay, everybody, this is a uh, real quick demo of my latest neck uh, turning project. Just getting into neck turning, and uh, you now I kind of enjoy uh, building things, so I thought I'd give it a shot at uh, putting together a kind of a motorized uh, neck turner. And so far, it's, it's worked really well. Um, it's a uh, 21st century uh, cutter, or we're cutting 308 today. Um, I'm not going to go through the measurements and all of that. Uh, really hard to do with just a camera and uh, two hands. So I'm just going to kind of demo demo with the machine as best I can here. Um, but this is also a 21st century uh, holder here. It, it works really well. Um, as you can see, I have a, uh, a flexible shaft connector on here. And, and I think I do have a little bit more run out than I'd like. But um, so far, it's like I said, I'm, I'm getting some pretty good cuts on it. Well within a two ten thousandths of an inch but um one of the things is this is a NEMA motor it's a stepper um probably not the best motor for the job but uh it seems to work pretty well one thing i do like is when they it locks up i mean it really locks up so i don't have to worry about the the shaft uh spinning while i try to tighten this down um a little internal temperature sensor uh rpms right now that is not rpms um he's he is actually a value I uh, use inside of an Arduino controller that's setting uh, pulse width uh, modulation frequencies. But um, regardless, one day it will be RPM. Just haven't gotten that that quite nailed down. Uh, so anyway, let's, let's fire this guy up. Um, first things first, a little oil. Put some on to our little guide here. Turn them on. Get some on our neck. And that's about it there. So let's get this guy running on our shaft here, and you'll see he he locks up really well. And this thing almost floats. I mean, you just basically you can guide it with your fingers. You know, but uh, get in here and see what's really going on. We'll see here in shortly. We're going to hit some brass. There he goes. Just ride this guy all the way up to the shoulder. My understanding is you want to barely, barely go into the shoulder. And I think I've got it right. I still may be tweaking this a bit as I as I work with it. Um, and by the way, this is uh, this is Lake City Brass. It's actually Lake City 72. And so it's fairly thick neck to begin with. But I've been taking them down to, um, I believe, 0 0.0334. I'd have to look at the measurement. But like I said, I've been getting really consistent readings off of this guy. Got enough light there. So one thing I might do is mount a light to it. And I've been able to do this with one pass. I have not noticed a lot of heat. Um, I'm putting quite a bit of oil on there. And I'm not loading for any kind of bench rifle or anything crazy like that. This is just going into a, just a bolt I've got. And we are almost to the stop there. Okay, and I should, if I'm set up right, just be barely into that neck. Like I said, I, I just got this thing set up, so... Still playing with it. We'll just back this guy out slowly. I said I'm just guiding this thing with my fingers. This this little rail is from um, like, uh, Open Step or Open Components. I'd, I'd have to I'll have to put a list of where I got everything in my uh, posting when I do this, but um, it works it works great. It's, I mean the thing the, this motor just floats on it. I mean, that was a complete pass. And uh, there's our trimmed brass. I don't know how well we're going to be able to see that. Clean it up a bit. See, I'm right, right into that shoulder. And you can see I've got a little bit there. I'm going to measure this guy after I get off here. And if I need to adjust. But uh, 
so far. And my goal here is, is not to cut off a ton of material. I just want consistency. And like I said, so far, I've been pretty good at getting it. Still learning. But anyway, um, <laughs> my latest little project is it's actually turned out pretty neat. It was fun to build. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And then I might put a parts list down in the thing. Thanks a lot, guys.